starting the next section. We stopped here at level for Sinclair's gasoline and a taco. Gray bulls that way. I don't know what a Pruin road is. But this looks a little interesting. You got a wide open area. So, after watching and editing these videos, it seems that I never really quite got into the spirit of the rally race. Uh, the navigation was a little difficult, but uh, it was a good learning experience. But the day seemed to be more of a fun, relaxing, sightseeing kind of ride for me. Uh, after a couple of days, it seemed like I got a little better at the navigation and maybe we rode a little bit faster. But all in all, it was just fun event, fun trails, fun area to ride in. Really enjoyed it. 73 degrees out here. 13, 12, right on, right there. Going uphill, two track uphill. Good, pretty rough. 20 pounds of pressure, 72 degrees out here. Got a used Kedda, 270 on back, doing just fine. But it sure is rough with that much pressure in the tires. This is brutal, Rocky, man. Really brutal. Just went out here. Probably the sweeper crew probably kept up with me. How discouraging, man. Going so slow. Maybe a lot of loose red dirt. A lot of cow, cow trail. Ugh. Wash. This loose junk again. How do you get a DL SD Strom 650 down this stuff? And then up out of here, white rock, red rock, a little bit of green. Now, all right, now I'm down here off the hill. Just what it looks like down here from what was up there. Pretty neat. White and red. Interesting. Let's see what I'm supposed to do down here. Oh yeah. So you get down here, there's a train track. You gotta turn and go up. someplace. Went too far. Where? Ah, uh, right there. You kidding me? Now where? Okay, HP on the roll chart oh, means man. no trail. Follow the compass heading exactly. I didn't quite realize this, really? and it did cause me some really? pain in sure. several places. Sure. Look at all these angular, well, rocks that have been tipped up. Impressive. Impressive. All laid down flat and then tipped up. in there for silt. Probably was a dam at one time. But uh, still, look at this little narrow path. Cow trail. That's what a cow trail is. If I slip off, I'm going to need some help. Gee, with, this is definitely not good. Whew. Whoa. That is a little bit of a camber. <laughs> oh. 
Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Hang on. Deeper crime. You're going down? Alright. It's tough. It's hard to ride in. Kind of soft, but I think I'm supposed to go up that hill. Mile marker. 7994. Here we go. Monster Hill here. Can't see much at all. Go. Man, the sun is bright in my eyes. Wow. Single track. Cross watch. Wash single track. Go. Okay. All right. Late in the day, reading a droll chart that's no longer rolling, piece of scrap paper that I'm trying to read from. Late in the day, taking wrong turns, messing around in this area trying to find the the uh, waypoint. Nope. Come to a dead end here, and in a few moments you'll find that Justin uh, came and bailed me out and showed me the way home, so I didn't get to finish the afternoon route. But it was a good day of riding. Really enjoyed it. Some good, good tough stuff. Good technical stuff. Learned a little bit about roll charts that you definitely need a, a bigger one to hold the whole piece of paper. Hey. All right. Now, if you look on that iPhone right there, you can see that there's a little arrow inside of a circle, and that's telling me that I've gotten about 500 meters close to a waypoint that I have been trying to find here for about 45 minutes. Taking a couple of long turns, following a couple of other people's tire tracks, which is the wrong idea. So here's the turn that I missed right here to head up the hill. And there is Justin up here waiting for me to show me the way back to camp. Hey, I finally acquired. <laughs> I've been searching around here for this stupid waypoint. Which one? 122? Um, yeah. Yeah, I got it. 